Dear students, now we are going to discuss common collector configuration and its characteristics in detail. In this configuration, base is the input terminal, emitter is the output terminal, collector is common to both input and output. This is the circuit diagram of common collector configuration. In this, the input is applied between base and collector, output is taken between emitter and collector. So here the collector is common to both input and output. In this diagram, the base current is the input current, base collector voltage is the input voltage, emitter current is the output current, emitter collector voltage is the output voltage. Okay. So in order to make the transistor working in the desired operating condition, we have to ensure that the input side is forward biased, the output side is reverse biased. So here the base collector junction is forward biased and emitter collector junction is reverse biased. So in this condition, the transistor is working in active region. Okay. So next current amplification factor, it is represented as gamma for this common collector configuration. It is defined as the ratio of output current to the input current. What is output current? Emitter current. What is the input current? Base current. So gamma is equal to IE by IB. So next the expression for the output current. Here the output current is emitter current that is equal to gamma IB plus gamma ICO. So from this relation we can get emitter current is equal to what? Gamma into IB. Here this ICO is nothing but the reverse saturation current or leakage current due to the reverse bias condition with base open. Okay. Next input characteristics of common collector configuration. In this we are going to analyze the input parameters with respect to output voltage. So here input parameters are base current and base collector voltage. So we are going to draw the graph for this IB versus VBC with a constant output voltage. If the input voltage increases, so here if the input voltage increases means the base current decreases. So this common collector is having very high input impedance. Okay. So in this configuration alone we are having high input impedance to reduce the base current by increasing the input voltage. Okay. So that's what given here. So this Characteristics is different from CE and CB configurations. Okay. So next we are going to discuss the output characteristics of common collector configuration. In this we are going to relate the output parameters emitter current and collector emitter voltage. Okay. So this is the graph for this IE versus VCE with a constant base current. In order to determine the output characteristics. The input current is kept constant by adjusting the input voltage. So here for each IB values we are going to relate IE and VCE. Do you all understand this one? In this output characteristics there are three regions. Active region, cutoff region and saturation region. Let's discuss each region in detail here. In this cutoff region the condition is IB is equal to 0. That means... If the base current is 0 means base is open. There is no input is given. At that time in the transistor there is a current flow only due to the leakage current from the reverse bias condition. So here it is having a very very small current conduction due to leakage current which is negligibly small. So in this IB is equal to 0 condition. The emitter current is also almost zero. There is no output. At that time the transistor is in off condition. So next come to this active region. In this region input side is forward biased. Output side is reverse biased. That means base collector is forward biased. Emitter collector is reverse biased. Then we can get the maximum current conduction. That's what given here. Even for this amount, we can get the maximum amount of output current. Okay. So here in this region, the transistor is in a on condition. It is working with the maximum output. The third region is 
saturation region in this one whenever this output voltage is reduced to zero it is a very small value okay it may be around 0.2 volt okay so within this range within this smaller range there is a very large current conduction at the output side okay within this range alone the output current is increased very faster for this small increment of this vce okay within this range that is called as saturation region okay let's have an overview of this regions active region means the base collector is forward biased, emitter collector is reverse biased. In this region, the transistor is in on condition that is working in the desired Q point with maximum current conduction. Okay. So, next one is cutoff region. Here is input side as well as output side. Both are reverse biased. In this region, that output current is almost zero. Okay. So, next one is saturation region. In this region, here input and output side both are forward biased okay for the small increment of the vce that is output voltage from 0 to 0 0.2 volt there is a large change in the output current if vce decreases here common emitter junction is forward biased that's how we can make both the junctions are forward biased do you all understand this one next the transistor parameters here hybrid or H parameters are used to analyze the transistor performance. First one is input impedance, output admittance, forward current gain, reverse voltage gain. So here I represents input impedance, O represents output admittance, F means forward current gain, here R represents reverse voltage gain. The C represents common collector configuration okay. finally the applications of common collector configuration this configuration is having very high input impedance very low output impedance just opposite to the common emitter configuration okay so its voltage gain is less than unity it is having very high current gain due to this properties this common collector configuration is widely used for impedance matching applications. That means it can be used as a buffer stage between high impedance source and low impedance.